good morning in this lecture i am going to go ahead and start with joint probability distribution now please understand that till now we have gone ahead and understood what is a random variable and what are probability distributions related to a random variable we went ahead and we did the following so you know i had this um, a random variable x i had a random variable x this random variable x could have been discrete or continuous when it was a discrete random variable we went ahead and introduced its probability mass function when it was a continuous random variable we went ahead and introduced probability density function now we want to go ahead and we want to you know introduce what happens when we want to go ahead and introduce what happens when i include more than one random variable so for example if i go ahead and i tell you that now i have two random variables x and y both of them can be discrete 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 so i have two random variables x and y both of them are discrete random variables each of them has their own probability mass function or probability density function depending on whether it is continuous or whether it is discrete for now i am assuming probability mass function because i have written it as discrete and now i want to club them together club them together means i want to find the probability that x will be certain number and y will be certain number so i am clubbing them together when i do that when i club two discrete random variable together then that is known as a joint probability mass function so what is a joint probability mass function a joint probability mass function p x y is that probability that x is a certain number and probability that y is also a certain number i am going ahead and joining these two probabilities together now the other properties should satisfy as is which means i should still have the case that each of the probability should be greater than equal to 0 the sum of the probabilities they should equate to 1 so these should hold true there's nothing wrong there i have to go ahead and include them make them as true that's that's there these are the basic properties that sum of probabilities is 1 each probability should be positive but now here i'm talking about all these probabilities for the joint probability function that's the only catch here let's go back and see so please see here a joint probability distribution and random variable i'll give you the definition let x and y be two discrete random variable they are defined on the sample space s of an experiment the joint probability mass function 
is defined for each pair of the number x, y by what is the probability that x take a certain number and that y takes a certain number? This is its joint probability mass function. Also, it should satisfy these properties that each probability should be positive and the sum of the probabilities, they should equate to one. So these properties should anyways be satisfied. Okay, now take this example. So for example, A is a set consisting of pairs X, Y, such that X, Y sums to five or such that max of X, Y is less than or equal to three. Then what is the probability that X, Y belongs to A? This is the probability that you're summing for all such possible values of X, Y belonging to the set A. So for example, let me give you an example here. Supposedly I tell you that X and Y are discrete. Then, you know, if I tell you that X plus Y is five, and I tell you that X is greater than or equal to zero, Y greater than or equal to zero, then I'll have X one, Y four, X two, Y three, x3, y2, x4, y1. These are some of the possibilities that I have. And you can take x0, y5, x5, y0. So what you're doing is you're saying, okay, what are the possibilities that x, y belongs to A? And what is this A really? This A is all those x, y's such that the sum is 5. So this is how we have defined this thing. Now take more examples. This is important, very important from exam point of view. This chapter overall, including the expected uh, expectations that I'm going to do and including the linear function of expectation that I will complete in this chapter, very, very important. There was a question on this in IIT JAM examination. We get a sure shot question on this in DSC. We get a sure shot question on this in any PhD exam, in IES entrance exams, uh, I mean IES exam. So this is a sure shot topic that comes in almost all the exams. Very important topic. So see here. Insurance company has number of customers who purchased both home and car policy. So there are two policies, home and car. Car policy options are two. Either you can purchase a policy worth $100 or you can purchase a policy worth $250. Home policy options are three. Either you can purchase $0 or $100 or $200. So these are the options that you have. And accordingly, you are given something which is known as a joint probability table. Now, what is a joint probability table? A joint probability table takes all possible combinations of x, y and gives its associated probabilities.